Hi guys, welcome to our new Java programming lesson. So this is our fifth video about Java and today we are going to talk about variables and constants. So these are the learning outcomes of our lesson. So first you are going to learn on how to use variables to store data, uh, how to represent a string using the string type, Write Java programs to perform simple calculations, obtain input from the console using the scanner class, and last one is to declare Java primitive data types such as byte, short, int, long, float, double, and char or car. For the topics, we are going to discuss variable and variable types, and the declaration and initialization of variable. So the rest are going to be discussed on the next video okay so let's start so we have topic one variables and types first question what are variables so a Java variable is a piece of memory that can contain a data value okay so sabi, it is a piece of memory no uh, variable is parang isang container na kung saan pwede tayong mag save or maglagay ng mga data and information. No, sabi nga dito, that can contain a data value. And thus, it has a data type. Second one, ano ba yung data type? Parang ito yung pinaka-format ng information natin or ng ating data. So, parang sa file, may kanya-kanyang format. Yung audio, ang format niya ay MP3, 3GP, kung video naman, we have MP4. So, sa variables or sa Java, meron din ganun. So, data type ang tawag natin doon sa format na yan. So, ano ba yung information natin? Ano ba yung data natin? Ah, meron tayong numbers, we have strings, we have true or false, booleans. So, yun yung tinatawag natin data type. So, may format ang bawat data na ilalagay natin kay variables. So, typically, uh, it is used to store information. Okay? Okay, so let's have an example here. This one. Okay, so basic program lang naman. So, question. Sir, saan po dyan yung uh, variable and then yung data type? So, yung data type natin is the int, no? Or integer. And then the var variable is the number. Okay? And it has a value of 10. Okay? And then, so, kung pagkuplas natin to, 10 plus 20 so, the output of this program is 30. So, simple lang naman. So, the point is that we have a data type and a variable. So, nag-store tayo ng 10 doon kay number. No? And then, sa baba, nagkaroon ulit ng uh, storing ng information. No? Uh, 10 plus 20, that is 30. So, nag-store tayo ng 30 doon kay number. Next is the types of variables. So, we have four types of variable. Now, the first one is non-static. Non-static field is a variable that belongs to an object. The second one is uh, static or static field is a variable that belongs to a class. The third one is local. Local variable is a variable declared inside a method. And the last one is a parameter. Parameter is a variable that is passed to a method when the method is called. So, look at the highlight words, no? So, the difference of, uh, of non-static and static is that non-static belongs to an object and static belongs to a class. Okay? So, tandaan ha, na ang non-static, it belongs to an object. Static belongs to a class. And local, uh, it is declared inside a method. So, there is a difference between those three. And parameter is a variable that is passed to a method. Okay? So, sana alam yung pagkakaiba, no? Yung apat na type ng ating variable. Okay? Next is an example of the types of variable. So, look at the second line. In data equals 50. So, that is the instance variable. So, saan po dyan yung instance variable na tinatawag? Yung ating int data. Okay? And then, the static variable, static int m is equals to 100. So, why is it 
became static because of static keyword. Okay, and the last one is the local variable. No, parang ito lang yung typical na pag-declare mo ng variable kanina. Okay, so that is int n equals 90. Okay, okay next is topic 2. So we have variable declarations and initialization. So the first question is how to declare variables. So to create a variable uh, or declare, you must specify the type and assign it a value. So we have what we call a syntax or format na kailangan sundin sa pag-declare or sa pag-create ng variable. So we have type or the data type. And then the next is the variable. So that I equal and then value and semicolon. So we need to follow this format no, for us to declare or to create a variable. Unless, pag di natin sinunod ito, magkakaroon tayo ng error. Next is, what is type? Ayan. Ano ba yung type? No? So, in Java, we have what we call primitive data types. And we have eight primitive data types. No? Such as byte, short, int, long, float, double, car, and boolean. So, those eight data types are primitives. Pag sinabi natin primitive, predefined na siya ni Java. Okay, next, let's talk about the most basic one, the int and string data types. Okay? So, integer, short for int, no, stores whole numbers. Ayan, ilang digits yan, napakadami. So, mas mag ito na yung pinaka-basic sa lahat, na ginagamit ng karamihan, as in karamihan talaga, is int. No, kasi, uh, look at the numbers, di ba? Napakadami niyan. Okay? And then, next is the string. String is used to store a sequence of characters. When we say characters, ito yung alphabets na, binug, na tinatawag, di ba? A, B, C, D, up to Z. Okay? And string values must be surrounded by double quotes. Okay, so let's have an example uh, to declare a string. No? String, this is our type or data type, and the name that is the variable. So, we have a value of John. Sabi nga kanina, pag yung ating string ay uh, string value, ang ginamit natin, kailangan merong double quotation. So, nahan at sa dulo. So, string name is equals to quotation, and then John and quotation. So, sa baba, we have a statement system that out that print line name. So, saan galing si name? Dito sa taas. No? Tinawag natin yung ating variable name and ang output will be John. Okay, next is declaring primitive data types. So, we have 8, di ba? So, let's look at the first one. So, we have byte and my byte. So, as you can see, uh, yung data type Yan yung mga naka-highlight, no? And then, yung white lang, that is the variable. So, you can change your variable into something you like. For example, byte, uh, a byte. Pwede yun, no? Huwag lang tayong gumamit ng special characters kasi hindi siya babasahin ni Java. And Java is very sensitive. Okay? So, yeah. Next is... Declaring object types. So, walo rin ito. Parang primitive data types din. But the difference is yung kanilang uh, on how you declare primitive and object. Kasi si primitive, maliit yung kanyang unang letra. And then si object, malaki yung unang letra. So, pag sinabi bang object, ano ba ito yun? Uh, when a variable points to an object, no? the variable is called a reference. Pag sinabi nating object, ayan, no? Malaki yung unahan. Yung unang letra ng ating variable. Ah, ng ating data type. So, hindi na siya primitive. Siya na ay object type na siya. Okay? So, question. What is the difference between primitive and object data types? So, the primitive, uh, it is predefined by Java. No? They specify the size and type of any standard values. Specified na. Kung baga, fixed na. Katulad nung kay int kanina. Uh, kung ano yung number na yun, yun na yung fixed value nung int na pwede niyang uh, store. And for 
object data type, these are also referred as non-primitive. No? Uh, unlike the primitive data types, the non-primitive one are created by the users. So, tayo. Tayo yung may kapangyarihan para gumawa ng object data type. Okay? So, that is the difference between those two. Primitive, predefined by, the job, by Java, and object created by the users. Okay, so first question. How to assign a value to a variable in Java? Okay, so punta muna tayo sa ating IDE. No? So if you have a jcreator, if you have a laptop, you can use jcreator. And if you have a phone, you can use Java and IDE. Okay, so nag-create na ako ng aking uh, program dito. No? So, first, let's call a data type. For example, int. And then, let's type the variable name. Uh, for example, num1 and equal sign. And then, let's say ang value niya ay 10. And don't forget the semicolon. So, to get the output, we do it by using the system that out that print line. No? Kasi, i-out natin, ipuproduce natin yung output. So, kailangan meron tayong System that out that print line. Okay, and ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis ng ating statement ang ating variable which is num one. Okay, so as you can see, as I type the variable, merong auto suggestion na lumalabas parang kay Google lang, no? Pag nagsearch tayo, and that makes our life much easier. Kasi hanapin na lang natin, hindi natin siyang ita type. Paano kung mahaba yung variable na ginawa mo? No? So, pahirapan ka pa. So, dinagdag na Java yan as a feature para mas madali. So, enter lang natin. Okay. So, to run the program, uh, syempre, press F5 or uh, press this button. No? Run project. So, review lang natin ulit. Uh, so, we have data type of int and then a variable num1 and a value of 10. Okay, so we use the system that out that print line to get the output of the program. Diba? So let's run natin F5. Ayun, so we have an output of 10. So that is how you assign a value to a variable in Java. Una, create ka muna ng data type and create ka ng variable and maglagay ka ng value. Ganun lang kadali yun. Okay? Next, how to declare or initialize multiple variables in line in Java. Okay, so balik tayo sa ating IDE. Okay, so for example, ang kailangan mo lang sa iyong program ay puro in. No? Kung ganun, mas mapapadali ang buhay natin. So, ang gamitin lang natin is puro int data type. So, this is how you do it. No? Delete muna natin yung value. Okay, delete. Ayan. And let's put a comma. And then, type natin another variable. Let's say num2. And then, comma again. Num3. So, in our case, we have now a three variables. So, if you notice, wala silang value. No? Empty yan sila. Kung baga, null. Pag sinabi natin null, walang value. Okay? So, pwede naman natin siya lagyan, no? Sa pagitan ng ating comma and then ng ating uh, variable. So, lagay tayo, equal sign. And then, let's say, 10, kay num1. And num2, let's say, 5. Num3, let's say, um, 15. Okay? So, sa statement natin, let's try to change this variable. For example, num3. Palta natin yung num1 ng num3. And try natin i-run. F5. Okay. So, tinanggap ni Java yung ating ginawa. No? So, pwede. So, this is one way on how to declare multiple variables in Java. Okay, next question. How to change a variable variables value in Java? So, the basic answer is to change the value itself. 
palitan mo lang yan, mapapalitan na agad. Pero yan yung pinaka-literal meaning niya. No? And that is not the proper way on how to change the value. Paano kung nag-run na yung program? So, kailangan mo pang stop para lang i-change yung value. So, this is how you change uh, the value of a variable while the program is running. Okay, so balik tayo kay Java uh, sa ating IDE. So, we have three variables here. For example, I want to have an operation. Anong klase ng operation yan? For example, addition. So, we could just uh, do this. Uh, let's say, int result equals num1 and num3. Okay, so we have a new variable which is the result. So, dito tayo magbabago uh, ng value. No? Uh, dito yung variable na kung saan mag-change tayo ng value while the, pro while the program is running. So, let's say we have a statement of 10 plus 15 equals concatenate natin result. Okay, saan galing si result? Yan yung ating bagong variable. And then, why 10 plus 15? Kasi si num1, merong value na 10. And si num3, merong value na 15. So, ayun. So, try natin. I-run. Press F5. So, we have a25 as a result, no? So, para mapalitan, we must create another instance para kay variable result. Diba? Wala pa namang nababago na value dito eh. Kasi ang tanong, paano mag-change ng variable, uh, variables value in Java. So, wala pa naman tayo nababago. So, try natin ganito. Result equals 10. And create ulit tayo ng palibagong statement. System dot out dot print line. The new value is concatenate natin result. Okay? So, meron tayong value. Si result merong panibagong value na 10. Okay? Pero nandito pa rin yung ating operation. Para makita natin na kung saan ba yung pagbabago. Again, si result, siya na yung nag-hold nung uh, value ng ating num1 at num3. Pinag-add natin yun. Diba? Yung 10 plus 15. Siya na yung nag-hold doon. And then, nagkaroon tayo ng panibagong instance sa baba na meron namang 10. Okay? So, try natin i-run. Press F5. So, ayan. The new value is 10. Okay? So, as you can see, kahit na merong, kahit nag-hold na ng 25 si result, and pag naglagay tayo ng panibagong instance sa baba niya, na nagkaroon tayo ng 10, is mapapalitan yung ating value. So, we can change the value by initializing again the variable result. No? Even if we have a own operation, we can still change the value. Okay? So, those are the three basic questions. No? The first one is how to assign, how to declare or initialize multiple variable, and how to change the variable's value. Okay? So, this will be the end of this video. I hope that you understand well our lesson. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.